Okay, now we're going to the image setting of the software setting, image tab. We talk about important and uh, most important option in this tab. Find image in child folder. As I said before, for example, we in this folder we have some images and here this, these two <coughs> subfolder. When you active that option, the software recognize the images or PNGs or anything that in including this folder. As we saw here, when I active the thumbnail, these are image in, the, in a folder number one. These are image on a, those two folders. So activated group image by directory, group image by the folder. It means like that. For example, as you saw, we are image here, as you saw the index of them, and it is here. Group number one, group number two, the folder number two, group number three, folder number three. So active that option. Okay. <clears throat> what happened? Oh, that's open here. Sorry. And show hidden image. Uh, loop back over first image when reaching the end. It's very simple. When you reach the end, you go back to first. We need that. Center image on the viewer. Center of the viewer. And embed the thumbnail for raw format. Mm, that's like place sound when image changing. File image when change is play sound. You can specify the loading order. Please active use window file explorer sort if possible. It sorts exactly that the window sort their file. It's nice, I think. Okay, going back to sitting. This is number of image cache. I don't think so. That's very useful because when you cache the image, any change that you might be won't appear. In a color profile, you can select any color profile for your image. This RGB is best for now. Here you can control the mouse wheel <coughs> action. The mouse wheel zoom, you can uh, specify which of this command zoom. For example, when, when we scroll, the mouse is zoomed the best way and click and drag and pan. When you hold the control and scroll, scroll vertically, as you can see. If you alt, it's uh, move to the move between images <coughs> here. And when you hold the shift, uh, scroll horizontally. Okay, <clears throat> here you can specify zoom optimization, that is automatic as well. Here you can specify zoom level, it's five steps, that's nice. Here you can control thumbnail bar, show thumbnail by the right side. You have to apply and then save here in timeline the right side if you want. Going back to the setting, the image, you can show the time not a time nail scroller here. Yeah, but don't show because the time nail is very small. Going to the general, I think. Nope. Where was that? Ah, oh, here. Thumbnail. Uh, dimensions, the pixel, you can bring it back to the big one. And here is the scroller of thumbnail. But you can scroll mouse here. In the, When you scroll mouse in the image, it's zoom. You scroll mouse here, it's move to scroll the thumbnail. <clears throat> okay. Don't like.
like that. I like the thumbnail. A little bit small. That's nice for me. So you can change the size of the thumbnail here. The pixel. A slideshow loop. When you start a slideshow, when it reached the last image, you loop to the first image. A slideshow countdown, as you saw. Let me make the slideshow. This is countdown. You can active or deactivate it. Escape for cancel it. Oop. Okay. Slideshow, slideshow, slideshow. Countdown. Use random interval. I don't like that. I want to manage them by this order. In a full screen, when you full screen hide toolbar or hide thumbnail bar, you can activate them. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.